finished up on grandstand as a player who has been lucky enough to claim the title twice before. It seems that Yelena Jankovic just loves the Italian red clay. But if she is to reach her fifth semi-final at this event, she'll have to get past the player she has failed to beat in her last five attempts. Niska Radvanska had come close to winning a number of tournaments in 2014, but has yet to claim her first title of the year. Jankovic, who steals an early break against Radvanska. He doesn't look all that happy to be out there right now. Oh, that's stunning. A quite unbelievable drop shot in the position that she was in. point that one. It was almost the sort of point you used to play on a court messing about with your friends. <laughs> So Radvanska for the first time in the match, it's only taken her an hour and 20 minutes, finally breaks through on the Yelena Jankovic serve. It's called long. You wait ages for one and then two come along at the same time. It's a second break in a row. Fantastic play from the sixth team. She breaks again and is now just a game away from a place in the semi-finals. She's done it. She's through to her fourth semi-final. It's a super day for Serbian tennis. First time in six years that Jelena Jankovic has beaten Agnieszka Radvanska. And she ends all those years of her with her first win against the pole in six 